The most common question asked in RuneScape is how do I make money? Welcome to Tutorial Island to Twisted Bow, a series where I start from scratch with nothing and farther the account each and every episode with questing, bossing, skilling, and combat. We will hope to one day achieve the Twisted Bow. After watching this series, you should no longer ask yourself, how do I make money in RuneScape? Hey guys, what is up? It is no help and welcome to episode 26 of Tutorial Island to Twisted Bow. So in this video, I'm going to be playing in HDOS. It's a new client that has been approved by Jagex and it's pretty much like RuneScape back in 2008. Um, I'm going to try it out for one video, see how you guys like it. And if you want the old school graphics, again, I do not mind um, for the next episode putting them in the old graphics again, but I'm just really enjoying this new client, especially now that it is approved. It's all good to go and stuff like that. We can play on this client. So yeah, I'm going to be doing this episode in the HDOS os client um we've been doing a lot of rune crafting lately and this episode is going to be a lot of rune crafting and a lot of money making but uh you know there's going to be a couple quests here and there um and then farming and just a lot of stuff that's going to be happening but uh yeah if you guys like the video make sure to smash the like button on with the video now i know the hd isn't going to be for everyone obviously but it's from the era when i actually started runescape which is 2009 i believe i started and uh it's okay man i'm really loving this uh, so far i'm definitely missing the runelite plugins and uh this client is slightly buggy but i feel i feel as though like if you know we gave it a bit more like uh if you know like all of the updates that it gets and stuff like that and we get sort of more similar runelite kind of features this could be one of the best um pretty much clients ever made if you're into the hd anyways i know a lot of people are saying that it looks terrible which they clearly didn't i guess play from that time or they just didn't like the graphics maybe but to me man these look better than the rs3 graphics uh, coming with 50 freaking farming let's go oh my god i forgot i don't have auto weed on this account and 51 farming also, if anyone at HDOS is watching this, if we could play full screen or like, you know what I mean, fixed and full screen, like how we can do on Runelight, that would be freaking amazing, man. And here we go. About to get a nice hunter level. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's going to be this birdhouse. I thought it was over at KXP, man. This should be the 38 hunter. All right, so I'm going to show you actually how many um, blood runes that we've crafted so far. It's absolutely crazy, man. And it's going to be so much money when we, you know, go to sell these in, I guess, the near future. We have about 20,000 in the inventory and then another 73,000 in the bank. So we have over 90k now. Well, back to rune crafting for who knows how long. All right, guys, so we are currently sitting at another 72k blood runes, 25.8 million. Absolutely freaking crazy. We're almost 86 rune crafting as well, which is pretty freaking crazy. We've been here for a long time. We have another, I think, 70,000 bloods in the bank as well. So we probably made about 50 million GP so far off just blood runes, which is just nuts. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and do the pride event, and uh, then I'll probably be right back to blood runes yeah so let's just go look at the oh my god 145 k blood runes that we've made now just off of doing this little grind here for a couple of weeks 52 million gp and blood runes did drop about 10 gp so yeah 52 million that is crazy and i just did this on the side honestly i've been focused on the iron man account the past couple of weeks and uh that is going to help a ton and we still have a lot more to craft i think i'm going to get to about 90 rune crafting honestly but uh let's go do this little event now this pride event wasn't really taken super great by the old school runescape community which is kind of a shame but uh we're gonna go ahead and do it anyways because uh um apparently these are gonna be like rare kind of items because if you think about it we haven't done one since 2017 I think it was 2017 it could have been 2016 so these pride items if they're there might never be an event again with how the community handled it so i'm gonna grab these items on this account just because they're gonna be you know super rare 
Um, so I kind of realized that this doesn't look the best being recorded in, um, I guess, fixed mode, which maybe that will eventually get changed. I'm not too sure. Um, there's a lot of things being obviously worked on on this client. Looks like there's a bunch of people actually doing this pride event right now, which is cool. Cool to see, honestly. So let's just go ahead and I guess talk to this lady. What does she? Oh, that's the sandwich lady. Where this guy, <laughs> this guy right here. And let's go ahead and finish this nice pride event for 2022. And there is a nice little uh, what's it called? Cut scene, I guess you could say, right here, where he goes ahead and grows all of the flowers. I know this wasn't taken good by the community, but uh, it is what it is, man. I personally am happy that Jagex did this. I know a lot of people aren't, but, uh, you know, if you want, you can go ahead and skip this part of the video. But I decided to go ahead and do it anyways. Look at this beautiful cutscene. It looks good in HD, man. Everything just looks fucking better in HD, in my personal opinion. Really excited about this client and what is for the future of the client. But uh, if this isn't taking good, I obviously will record the next video in... Um, regular 07 old school graphics again i honestly probably will anyways because i enjoy rune light quite a bit and i can't seem to play the game without rune light anymore so yeah i don't know it's just it's really cool especially if you're doing like long skilling grinds or something like that to go ahead and play on this client right here but anyways we got the this little band or this little crown the flower crown and the there we go let's just take a quick look at this stuff right here it looks pretty good and uh supporting the pride so anyways that is over with now oh i'm ready for these dopamine rush trees every few days 7k farming coming right in another 7k farming up to 52 farming right now which is pretty freaking nice and wow up to 53 farming 39 hunter another day another rune crafting level more like another week another rune crafting level actually not even yet wow um i hope it's this inventory if i didn't that's gonna be pretty embarrassing comp cape looks so weird man i don't know how i feel about it yet i think there should be a real comp cape but uh it, there we go 86 rune crafting wow that's fucking crazy man 370 something k till the next level let's just keep on grinding all right, back to, uh, I guess, RuneLight. Um, I like HDOS a lot. It's just, damn, the RuneLight plugins are so useful, and I want to do some quests and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to switch back to RuneLight for the rest of the video, probably, and uh, see what happens. All right, we have a bank value now of 149 million GP. And if we look at the blood runes that we have crafted, we have a really good profit here of 60.5 million GP. That is a lot, a lot of money, and we've made it pretty much all in this video, so I'm, we are going to do some more rune crafting in the future, but for now, we're going to, you know, work on other skills and stuff like that, but this will pretty much be the foundation of all the money that we will need to get the quest cape out of the way, a lot of the achievements out of the way, to get some basic gear for Slayer and combat, so that we can eventually go in to do bossing and stuff like that and make a lot more money. And right now, blood runes have dropped quite a bit. Like, if I go to the one month chart here, um, yeah, they were trading at like 385 each, and they've had a big drop. They went up again, and then they're dropping. I see they're slowly rising here again, but it looks like they're on the down, like, trend. So, I'm not sure if I should keep them all or sell them, because if I look back at the, you know, like, the three month change and the six month change, they went up like 13 to 20 percent, and the last month they did drop 7 percent, but if I hold them, maybe they'll go up a bit, but who knows, tons more people are getting that new outfit, the 60 percent outfit, so they could just continuously keep dropping, but uh, I guess if you look at, like, their all-time, like, low, um, was like 277, and they elk for 200 GP each, so they're never gonna go below elk value, but I could lose, like, half the value, you know what I mean, if we keep it up this way, but I mean, they are at like a, one of the highest peaks right now. So maybe I should sell them. Uh, it's, it's hard to say. I think I'm going to hold them for maybe another week and see. But uh, yeah, they could go up. They could go down. You never know. And in the bank right now, we have a good foundation of cash. So I think I'm just going to keep them in blood runes for now. And let me know down in the comments what you think of that as well. Because maybe I should just, you know, take take my uh, my profits right now and walk away. I'd have a nice 90 million GP stack if I did that. But we also have things from like the Motherload Mine, which we made. And just even the other runes that we got from this grind. So I think I'm going to keep them for now. Maybe I'll sell like, you know, 100k of them and keep 70,000 or something like that. But uh, yeah, anyways, time to do some questing and stuff like that. I want to get Quest Cave knocked out of the way as soon as possible on this account. 
so we can clear up this disgusting bank. Another thing we need to do is invest a bunch of money into construction, which that could take, you know, 20, 30 million GP as well. So it's going to help a ton. And even just things like herb lore and like smithing cost so much money. All right. Once again, time for these nice dopamine rushes. I love this method of farming. I feel like every main account at this point should just be doing this. You know, it's very good XP. You only have to do it every few days and you just get so much XP, especially when you start doing, um, the ones that you get at 54 they're the mahogany ones they're just going to be so much experience and they're fairly cheap too they're probably like one of the cheapest ways you can pretty much go about farming and it's consistent you don't it's pretty much like doing a birdhouse run you know but every three days it's great before you go ahead and get a xerix talisman you should just set your house location here because there's pretty much no other really good way to get to karen this way i'm gonna do the deaths of despair because that will give me a really good method to train range af kaylee i'm pretty sure anyways you get like a private cave of the crabs or something like that and if not it's another quest point knocked out of the way Okay, thank god I brought a weapon because it didn't say to, or maybe it did in this. I remember this sand snake from on my main account. It's probably very simple, but imagine kicking this thing to death. At least we brought a little DDS to knock it out a little bit quicker. And uh, I hope we can enter this cave again. Some people, for some reason, I feel like you can't enter this cave after you've done the quest, which is a really good spot to kill sand crabs because range is very low for me on this account. And if I could just AFK the sand crabs there, that would be awesome. More like of a private area and stuff like that. But, oh, we need to search the chest. But um, yeah, I'm hoping that we can do that with the completion of this. This looks a lot like the, um, the dig site little certificate. Okay, this should probably be the end of this little quest here, and uh, then we can maybe get back into that thing, but you get one quest point, 4,000 coins, uh, 1,500 agility experience, a memory page, which these are going to be very useful for when you get the book at the end, but we are up to 179 quest points now. We can go ahead and do the RFD, so I was thinking of maybe knocking that out today. Uh, what do I say? Tell me about yourself. I don't know if this is anything to do with it or anything, but uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and do try and do, I guess, the recipe for disaster subquest because I know some of them are very, very annoying. But uh, other than that, um, hmm, I don't know. I'm thinking about banking 99 crafting too because we definitely have the funds now to do that with molten glass, even doing the more expensive method, the glass orbs, but they're pretty good crafting experience. That's kind of what I did on my Iron Man too. 99 crafting would be super helpful but uh i think i don't know i'm not really about going for max really on this account i think i just want to get in as much money as possible but i know the crafting skill cape would come in very very handy but who's to see who's to see wow this will grant me 10 percent hosidious favor why not read it get 110 percent Looking on the list too, we haven't really done any of the like Mauritania quests. I guess I was in a way trying to like not do those. <laughs> we haven't done Tower of Life either. There's a lot of like very easy ones for us to go ahead and do. But uh, it's either going to be like very long quests or just very annoying quests. And yeah. I also wanted to do Dream Mentor. And I guess we need to do um, Lunar Diplomacy for that as well. Which we could probably knock out i think we yeah we definitely have all the requirements now that might be interesting to do i don't remember how annoying that one is maybe we'll do that um look at this little uh, item requirements here that's quite a bit fuck it this is an interesting part of the lunar diplomacy where you have to use the lunar or i guess the draymon staff on all of the altars and then you make it into the full lunar staff oh we can't wear it yet okay Travel back to Relica, I guess uh, Camelot, it is. Now here's where you do all of the little mini games or whatever, but basically if you have Runelight, it tells you like all of the stuff that you kind of have to do, so it makes it quite a bit easier. Now it looks like we have like five or six more categories in order to go ahead and do, but uh, I tried to record the first little few, but my audio has been acting all weird today, but anyways, um... I think the next one will be this yellow one. I remember, I vividly remember one where you have to like race a guy chopping trees. So I'm wondering if it would be this one. That'd be kind of funny. Please be this one. Um, but yeah, this is a really cool area in the game for sure. It's uh, such a nostalgic quest and stuff like that. What the hell is this one? Let's see what Runelight does here. Oh, this is the dice one. Okay, I'm pretty sure you have to like beat him or something like that. Keep continuing through the dialogue. So you need 25. Yeah, look at this shit. The game tells you what to click. 
to be fair i'm kind of glad like for personal thing here that i did all these quests like on my iron man before quest helper was a thing just because like i actually had to you know figure this shit out nowadays like quest cape is just so devalued because of this plugin it really definitely is like see i was gonna do this this whole video in hdos but then i'm like oh i i, I need to do quests and <laughs> it's just weird when I could just do it the old fashioned way and bring up a Slayer music video or even read the wiki for that matter, but nah, it's just, uh, you might as well just use a little quest helper plugin, right? Okay, so this part right here is kind of like a weird uh, thing, right? Where it's different for every single player, but there is like an easy kind of way to do this. So here on the RuneScape wiki, if you go to like the quest help, you can actually like click this tile basically and make it like the path that you want to go so you kind of remember it. Very, very handy. Fuck man, this is actually so frustrating. I've died like, or died, I've messed it up like five, six times now. I've, I've only got a couple more patterns that I can do, but the uh, wiki here is a big help or else you'd be writing in the chat like four, three, one, it'd just be annoying. Okay, this is the one I remember and I really like this one. You have to like race a guy woodcutting or something like that. Do I need an axe? I really hope I don't need an axe. I don't think I brought one. Uh, oh, he gives you one. What a legend. So now what do we have to do? We have to chop 20 logs or something like that. Get m more. What does this mean? Do I talk to this guy maybe? Maybe this is my side. Oh my god, do I only have like one inventory spot? Oh no, you just like. Oh my god, yes you do. We have to drop all these things immediately. He's already at two logs. Oh my god, we only have 70 wood cutting. This might be really bad, actually. He's already at two. Oh my god. Okay, I seem to be quite ahead now. He's at six. I'm at ten. I think, yeah, if you you could just like do a whole inventory, I guess, at once. But I don't know if it depends on your wood cutting level. Maybe if you had like a really weird wood cutting level, like you need level, what is it, 55 to do the quest, but uh eh. And look at these stack of logs. This should be it, man. Whew. Thank you. Guess uh, is he wearing? It looks like he's wearing graceful. That's freaking weird. Wonder if they designed graceful from that. Anyways, I think there might be one more that we have to do. Actually, I hope it's not a combat one because I am definitely not prepared. We don't even have a prayer potion. Um, maybe. Oh my God! Pre be prepared to fight. Um. We can teleport out. Let's just give it a whirl. I, is it hard? I don't remember this at all. I have a whip, and I guess I have 62 prayer points. Um, what the fuck is? Th oh fuck! Is he gonna use like magic or something? Oh, you have to fight yourself or something. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be a joke, right? Wait, can I not use? Oh, you. Fuck! I'm so confused. Um, I just whip him, I guess, with this, and then that's it. He, like, teleports me away. Okay, this should be pretty simple. Can I use prayer? I mean, it's not like we need it at this point. Unless this is, like, the first form, because then we'd be fucked. This reminds me of, like, boxing when the staking arena was a thing, but, uh, anyways, is that the end of this horribly long quest? I think I just, like, read this or some shit. Um, return to reality. Wow. Um, okay. It's nice to be in the dreamland here. I think we return to it in the next quest, which I'm probably not going to do for a little while. But, uh, oh, was it all a dream? And is that it, maybe? Ah, uh, and this should be the end of this horrible quest. I'm just kidding. It wasn't too bad. It just took a long freaking time. I hope. Yeah, there we go. You have completed Lun Lunar Diplomacy. You are awarded with two quest points, 5k magic, 5k rune crafting, the ability to use lunar spells, and 50 nice astral runes. And uh, no levels from that, but now we can go ahead and be on the lunar spellbook, which will definitely come in handy. Okay, so I'm gonna sit here for a little while and AFK at this nice new spot that the sand crabs that I got unlocked. I really want to get 70, at least 70 range because then I can go, go where the black dehyde as well as the blessed dehyde, which is gonna be super awesome. I also need, I think it is 75 range as well, and then I can go ahead and get it blowpipe, and then we can go ahead and get the fire cape on this account, so that is gonna be super exciting as well. 
I am using rune arrows. I just had them in the bank. I don't know if this is a good thing to use or not. We should probably be using like mithril darts or something like that. I don't even know. I could, could really uh, care less though at this point. We have a lot of money now on this account. So I'm going to be sitting here for a little while. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll get 70 range tonight. That seems like a lot, but I don't know. Let's see what the XP per hour is that I'm getting. I'm not sure if it's going to be totally accurate, but around 45k XP an hour, like AFK, like I think that's pretty good. And uh, do we have the NBC aggression timer plug in on right now? I don't know if we do. Let me just quickly check that here because, uh, yeah, we do have it on, but I don't see it working. But uh, anyways, um, <laughs> the, this should be nice. This is very, very nice in AFK and um, we'll see. I'll, I'll come back in a little bit and see if it's still good or not. I thought I'd need prayer here, but obviously not. It's fucking sand crabs. So maybe the next trip I'll just bring a full inventory of Garambolans. And I guess that would be it. I, I don't really know. This seems to be a good spot though. I know there's two you could pretty much get for a world, but this other guy is like right here right now. So uh, I'm not sure. Maybe that is the better spot, but yeah, not bad. Okay, guys, I really like this method. I found this spot right here, obviously, to be the best spot. So I put a little tile marker here because it's pretty much fully AFK. The only problem is finding a world, and that can kind of be annoying. But uh, the XP has been pretty damn good. We've been here for, like, I mean, I'd say close to two hours now. And we're almost at 78k range. But you got to remember, like, this is fully, fully AFK if you just stand on this one tile. Maybe I've used, I don't even know, about a thousand uh, of the arrows, stuff like that. It's not the best method in the world, but if you need AFK and you just want some nice range XP, you gotta remember, I started this at level 68 and we're already getting close to level 70 range, which is just crazy to think about. Like, just, like, didn't even really look at the screen. Every 10, 15 minutes, I just leave the cave, come back, and boom, right again, AFK for 10 full minutes. So, this can be some great range training experience if you want to get your range up. And I do not even have good gear. Like, I don't even have range gear, to be completely honest with you. So, yeah, it could be a lot worse. And uh, I'll show you the loot so far. We've killed 293 sand, sand crabs and made 29k, so you don't you don't get loot here um, pretty much at all, but it is kind of cool to go ahead and track anyways. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to call it a video here. We made a ton of money. It's been a couple of weeks, honestly, since we've uploaded Tutorial Island to Twisted Boat. It's because I've been so focused on the Iron Man and so focused on this account doing runecrafting. Runecrafting is going phenomenal. I might even get close to 90 for the next episode. Just be making money at the uh, Blood Runes, take advantage of the outfit while I can. Um, yeah, I think we made like 60 million GP in this video, which isn't going to happen obviously all the time, but it is nice to go ahead and make that much, especially early on. I was just saying to my friend actually that I basically in two weeks made a full bando set. I would really like to get the Graze Rapier. I think that would be a really good thing to go ahead and get right away maybe on this account just because it would speed up the uh, Slayer a lot, stuff like that. Or do you guys think it would be better to spend it on skills like I was saying or, you know, even spend it on something like a full Bandos set or an Armadale set or whatever it might be? Don't really know yet or just keep it in cash or keep it in blood runes for that matter. If you guys uh, know, go ahead and comment down below. I would like to invest it to at least get uh, 83 construction and maybe 99 crafting like I said. But uh, I'm not too sure. We also could spend a lot of money and get all the clue um, stash units and stuff like that set up. We could train Herblore. Uh, it doesn't really matter, honestly, what we do. This series is about making money and the Twisted Bow has went up about 200 million GP in the past month. So yeah, it's going to take a lot longer to go ahead and get it, but uh, yeah, that's the point. We got to make a ton of money on this series, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you went ahead and watched the whole video, comment uh, Sand Crab down in the comments below. Thank you guys, and I will catch you in the next one. See ya later.